Hi everyone. Uh, thank you for your support with the Soulmate readings. Um, here's a small clip for you guys to enjoy. And if you'd like to purchase the entire video, uh, go to my website, fearlessintuition.net. Bye. Hi, Scorpio. So, thank you for being here. Thank you for your support. We're going to look and see what's going on with your soulmate in August of 2018. We will look into the headspace, the heart space, the environment, and then the energy between the two of you. Hi, Ruger. The little friend here. So, headspace of Scorpio soulmate. <clears throat> August 2018. Oh, there it is. Listen. So, this is the High Priestess in the traditional tarot. So, they are, could be a couple of things. Um, they could be a little pulled back, a little bit removed, not talking much. You're not seeing much of them um, in August this month. But it could also be that they're doing this so they can listen to their intuition. Um, I feel like <clears throat> their intuition is pretty high this month. I'm not sure. So we have Justice and we have the Emperor. Nice. So a lot of major arcanas already. They're trying to find balance in their life. It's like they're taking charge. And this is this may be why they pulled back. They are taking charge, looking for balance, looking for stability. Hi, Ruger. Ace of Pentacles <laughs> and Judgment. Hi, Bubba. Hi. So they're looking for stability, and it's time for them to do this. It's like they're they're being called to do this, and they're having that feeling, and that's probably why they're listening to their intuition pretty intently in August. They could be really focused on work, too. Um, could be, so we were working with Libra, Aries, Pisces. Um, they could be the boss. But this is almost a karmic, I feel like they're going through a karmic cycle. Hold on a second, I gotta pull my hair back. It is a little toasty here. Um, let's see. And I feel like they're ready. It's just there's this readiness, you know. I wanna take charge, I wanna be in control of my life again, I wanna see. You know, I need to do it this way. So what is justice for Scorpio's soulmate? There we go. <clears throat> Two of Wands and the Knight of Cups. So I'm kind of feeling like already this is like, you know, I have things, I have like karmic things I need to take care of. I feel like they're going through or ending a karmic cycle right now. And they're having to kind of take control of things in their life. And to me, they're saying here, like the offering of love is kind of on hold. Like either the offering or the accepting of anything is kind of on hold with the Two of Wands and the Knight of Cups. Because if you look at this guy, Two of Wands in this deck. He's tied, he's got one foot tied to one wand, one hand tied to the other, and he's just like sitting there talking to a bird, right? So he's not moving very quickly. <coughs> and they may have a decision they need to make on that, but it's kind of like on hold right now. And with the Emperor, I feel like you're kind of being stubborn about it too. Um... It's like they really just kind of want to take control back of their life. And if they're, if they've kind of removed themselves from people or anybody with the high priestess, that's probably why. Seven of Pentacles, yeah. They're working. They're working on building things. They're making plans. And they're probably not talking about it. They're not opening themselves up. Ace of Pentacles. 
So if your soulmate is quiet in August, I wouldn't really worry. Like, it's not you. I really want to say it's like, it's not you, it's them. You know, that old, that old saying. So we have temperance on the Ace of Pentacles. They're needing to balance out their heart and their mind so they can find stability or whatever stability looks like to them. So, <clears throat> again, another reason for them to be pulling back. But with judgment, they really feel like it's time to do this. It's like, I can't be unstable anymore. So we get three cards. I'm going to pull all of them. Oh, wow, they're all major arcanas, too. So we have also Sagittarius here. I don't know if I said that. And we have, on judgment, we have the... All major arcanas on a major arcana. This is a big time. Like, they're really taking some time right now to themselves. We have the chariot. We have death. And we have the hermit. So, it's almost like they're recognizing they have to pull back for now. And they have you on their mind. And they're very aware of your energy and their, you know, like, you're in their energy. They're very aware of it. But it's almost like in order for me to move forward in my life, I got to take a time out for a minute. I have to go through this transition. I have to go through this change. It's neat. I mean, obviously it's neat if we have all major arcanas and major arcanas are our destiny. These are like the road signs. This is what we're going to be doing, you know, going through the transition. So you know, and the universe is like, you know, it's time for you to really move forward. So you could be dealing with a Virgo or a Cancer, but then we also have you here too. Yeah. So I think they're kind of taking a break, and it's almost as if, like, I really want to say, like, don't take it personally if they pull back, if you're in contact with them, if you're not in contact with them and you're not really feeling their energy. It's because we 